What's up friends? Today we're going over how to add those animated social media style captions to any Premiere Pro sequence in just one click. Everyone's demanding those TikTok style captions these days, but generating them inside of Premiere Pro is just a straight up pain in the ass and can only get you so far. That's exactly why I built Brevity, our new Premiere Pro tool that makes generating social content an absolute breeze. If you find yourself creating social content inside of Premiere Pro or generating captions, then this tool is built for you. So let's jump in and see just how easy it is to add those animated captions to any Premiere Pro sequence. All right, so we're inside of Premiere Pro here and I have the brevity tool open here on the left. And then I also have my buddy's podcast that I'm trying to add some captions to. So let's go ahead and set our in and out points. This is going to tell brevity which portion of the sequence we want to add captions to. So I'll just caption the entire thing. Great, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on this captions button. This is going to open up the caption creation interface. And at the top of this window, we can see how many credits our account has, and then also how much this captioning job will use. Below that, we can set what type of caption style we want to be applied. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on this BG follow. Below that, we have some transcription settings. So Brevity comes with two different transcription models, both of which are more accurate than the built-in Premiere Pro transcription model. And we can choose between fast and accurate here. Below that, there's lots of other options for detecting multiple languages. Brevity can caption over 100 different languages. And we can also translate to other languages as well. We have a full video that covers all of this. So check the link in the description for more info on that. Great. So let's go ahead and just leave this as a default. And then we'll go ahead and click on create. Once it's finished transcribing, which takes like 30 seconds, it's going to create this new caption layer instead of our sequence. And it's also going to load up all of the captions instead of the brevity panel here. Now we can go ahead and just pop open this style window and we can take a look at some of these different presets that come built into the tool. So we have all of these different super dramatic all the way down to very standard style caption presets. And you can apply these just by clicking on one. It's going to go ahead and load this up inside of our sequence and it's going to apply them to all of the captions inside of our sequence and we can go ahead and like play with the position of our captions here we can adjust the padding a little bit there's all of these different styling parameters for brevity and we have a full video built out that covers all of these and how to use them so check the link in the description for more info on that as well as I mentioned before, Brevity uses a state-of-the-art transcription model, which is far more accurate than the built-in Premiere Pro transcription model. You'll spend a lot less time going through your captions and doing grammar corrections and spelling corrections. If you do need to make any corrections to your text, that's when we want to use the text editing tool here. So go ahead and select this tool, and then we can go ahead and just click on a block of text, make any different changes that we need to, and then it will apply. And then if we want to undo it, just go ahead and click this undo button and we're back to where we started. Super simple. Now, if we want to change how the captions are actually laid out and positioned inside of our caption blocks here, that's when we want to use the paragraph tool. But if we go ahead and drag this slider down, we can set the number of lines to be one. Now there's only one line of captions per block in our sequence here. And we can go ahead and drag this to be super high up if we want like four lines of text here but I'm gonna go ahead and just bring this back down to one. Now let's cover the character slider here. So this is going to control the maximum amount of characters per line. If we want really short lines, we can go ahead and just drag this down. And as you can see in the panel here, all of these lines have gotten a lot smaller and it's also reflecting inside of our sequence here. Let's go ahead and drag this back up a little bit. And as you can see, we can get these super long lines if we want. I'm gonna go ahead and leave mine at, let's call it 20. Cool. Above that, we have this button called Format Captions, and this is going to go through all of our captions and just make it a lot easier to read, make it a lot more legible for the person who's viewing your video. If we want to manually adjust the position or layout of our captions, we can use the Paragraph tool as well. So let's say that we want to combine this word it with the previous caption block here. As I hover over these captions, you can see that we get the up arrow and the down arrow. To move this word up a line, let's go ahead and hover over it and click on the left side, which is going to move it up. If I were to click on the right side, it's going to move it down. And we can combine it with the following line if we click on the right side here. And again, if we click on the left side, it's going to move it up. So now it's a part of this caption block here. If we go ahead and we move it up again, it's going to combine it with the previous line. Now, if we want to split lines, we can go ahead and just click on a word that's in the middle of a line. 
and this is going to split it up and we can go ahead and make these separate caption blocks if we want to or combine them or combine them back into one line so just keep an eye out for where the cursor is pointing and that will help you choose which direction or how you want to combine your captions good practice for this is to go ahead and set your number of lines set the maximum amount of characters per line click on format captions and then make any manual adjustments as you see fit if you find that your captions aren't lining up anymore, maybe because you made a bunch of edits to your clips, then just go ahead and click on this menu button and click on retranscribe and that will regenerate your captions, making sure that they're correct again. Sweet. So now let's go through and let's add some highlighted words to our transcript. And we can do this super easily by heading over to this highlight tool. And then we can go through and just start clicking on words that we want to highlight inside of our sequence. So we can go through and just find some good keywords that might stand out or might have some sort of significance. And as you can see, the highlighted words are inheriting this special style. So if we go through and we go into the style window, you can see that we have this styling section down here for highlighted text and all of the highlighted words are going to inherit this special style. As I mentioned, we have that full video that goes through all of these styling parameters and how to use them. So be sure to check the link in the description if you want to learn more on that. But if we don't want to manually go through and identify those keywords, we can also go inside of here and click on suggest highlights. This is going to use AI to identify a bunch of keyword worthy words, that's a mouthful, and automatically highlight them for us. So as you can see, we've got a bunch of different highlighted words as returned to us. And this just makes it really easy to kind of offload some of the work to AI. So those are the basics on how to get started with generating animated captions in Premiere Pro using Brevity. There's a bunch of other different features that we didn't get a chance to talk about, such as the media tool, which will use AI to automatically suggest and import relevant stock footage and emojis into your sequence. The cut tool, which will go through and automatically remove silences from your footage. And then also the auto cut tool, which will take your long form content like your podcast, and streams and automatically cut those into social ready sequences that have emojis and have the silences removed and stock footage already imported. It's crazy. Go ahead and take a look at some of our other tutorials that are linked down below. But thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.